getting hot in here. Okay, so it's about a million degrees today and I have to have all the windows shut because otherwise you won't be able to hear me. So, whew, I might get shinier and shinier as this video goes on. So this video is going to be, as you might be able to tell, a very chatty, informal, relaxed video. So grab a cuppa. Um, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about who I am, if you're new here on this channel, a bit of a background story, and then we're gonna get into some tips for kind of where to start for saving lots of money this year. Obviously I know that it is a huge issue for saving. It's, you can't, you can barely have enough money to spend what you need to spend on it and save as well. But I have been documenting our financial journey here on this channel for about four years now, since we started our no by year to save for our first house. And it did take years and years before that, but we got here, we're here, this is it. So I've done loads of videos on that in the past. I have done so many videos about budgeting, no by year, how to save money, how to make more money, how to do side hustles, like that if you're thinking it, like investing anything, it's probably here on this channel. So do have a little dig about on my channel if you are new here, but I thought I'd just spend a, the first few minutes just chatting about who I am and a little bit of background for anyone that's new here. So feel free to skip forward if you know about me or stick around if you wanna hear a bit more about me. But yeah, grab yourself something to drink and let get cozy and let's get into it. Um, I'm kind of just having a time, like a minute to myself for the first time since I won my award last week, which is the British Bank Awards Online Influencer of the Year, which blows my mind. This is, I dedicated over on my uh, Facebook group, which is Budget Best Life, dedicated to you guys because this community has been built from not just me making videos and helping you, but you guys just being involved in the comments, helping each other out, um, just like changing or being a part of your life. It's been such an honor and I feel so privileged to have been have like have that position to be able to help you guys. And the messages I receive just literally make it all, all the midnight finishes, all the 16 hour days so worth it because I'm just so grateful that I've, I'm able to help you and touch your life. So. The uh, last week, or the week before last now actually, I went up to London for the British Banking Awards and there were lots of different categories, so anything from like, you know, your, your banking apps or your savings or bank, normal banks, high street banks, and then the category for online influencer of the year, which I kind of, I didn't, I like to manifest things and like that's the thing. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, that's absolutely fine, but I hadn't really got it in my head. Like I didn't say I wasn't gonna win it, but I didn't think I was gonna win it. So yes, I was extremely shocked and thankful and proud and happy of that achievement. So thank you for everyone that voted for me. I am actually manifesting a win for a an award, for a financial award in September. So I will leave you guys a link in the description bar if you would like to vote for me for that. It's the Blogosphere Finance and Business Influencer of the Year. And it would just mean the world to me if you would like to vote for me, if I've helped you in any way, please do. Um, I'll leave a link for you, it's free obviously. It takes like five seconds, just literally put my name in, my handle, which is Lara Jana Jarvis and if you, I don't even think there's a, like, might be a box to say what the reason is why you want to vote for me, but shameless plug there if you would like to vote for me. This space has become so much more than what it was when I started it nine years ago when I was pregnant with my eldest son, Henry. I set it up to be, I set up a blog, adventuresofamum.com years and years ago. It's now called laradranajarvis.com. And I set it up to basically document like the process of motherhood, a bit of travel, a bit of lifestyle, and it's become so much more than that. It's just the most wonderful community. And had you told me nine years ago that I would be making videos about how to save money, how to get out of debt, how to save for something big like a house or a holiday or a car, I would have just, like, no, just no. I was terrible with money. I have never been given a financial education in the past when I was growing up. You know, in schools we don't do enough to teach young people about money and how it works and how you can make money work for you. And I just had no clue I was a spendthrift. And that's how it all started. So to be here now and to be in such a good position financially in terms of like my money mindset and how I know how money works and how I can make it work for me is, is amazing. And that's 
why I want to help you because if I can do it, literally anyone can do it. My slogan is live your best life on a budget, but I was living my best life. It definitely wasn't on a budget back then. I had no children. I was in a well-paid IT job. I'd worked in it for 10 years. And back then things were much cheaper. And I had children and realized, oh my goodness, like I was on statutory maternity pay, 500 pounds a month, maybe not even that and I suddenly had to find a way of making finances work. So that's how I kind of got into this and how I've learned along the way and just built on my knowledge and my development and learned and learned and learned and self-development is so key to this journey. And now there's 110,000 of us in this community across my different platforms, even more maybe if you count my blog and TikTok and it's changing lives and I just feel so thankful for that. So thank you to everybody that watches my videos and supports me and obviously when I do ad work, the ad work that I do allows me to then make all the free content that I've made for you over the years, hundreds of videos, thousands of hours, everything that I put into it. So your support when I do ads, like just even a swipe up link or a link, tapping the link to look at the product or commenting like, oh, this looks really good. Like something that you can support me like that is such a wonderful thing to do. So I really appreciate that if you do support me. So what I thought I would do here is just talk about the basics of saving money and how to save some money if you're looking to do so. Obviously things are tight and it's awful. So I won't get into the politics side of things because we could be here all day, let's be honest. But there's lots of ways that I can help you and that is what I'm here to do. Since I pivoted my content in 2019 to be much more frugal living and money saving, it has just been such a privilege to know that I've helped so many of you with your finances. And my kind of thinking around it is influence for good, which basically means, yes, influencers are tarred with a really negative brush, negative connotations, but if I can influence for good, so use my influence to help spread the word, then that's a real privilege. And I think for me, it's the numbers are great and I'm pretty much giving up on that 100K plaque because seriously, it's been years and I'm, I'm not going any faster, but that's okay. I just want to be able to reach more people. It's not about hitting the big numbers for me. It's just about being able to help more people. So yes, hopefully this video is helpful. It's a very waffly one. I told you it would be, uh, but I just want to do a little recap for anyone that's new. I might put this on my kind of welcome page for new visitors because it gives a little bit of an insight of to who I am because my last one was about five years old and the children are babies. <laughs> and um, yeah, it doesn't really kind of line up with how we are these days with what I talk about and how I, what videos I make. Anyway, my battery's about to run out, so I'm gonna change it and start again with the money-saving tips and how to live your best life on a budget. I really hope they're helpful. Gosh, I had been talking for a while. Sorry about that, I hope you don't mind. Right, so let's kind of umbrella this as how to save thousands of pounds and take these tips as ideas, inspiration, not just live by these rules. And obviously it is very dependent on your income, your outgoings and your situation. So let's just caveat that. Um, so as I've always said, saving money is not a punishment. <laughs> it's not meant to be like something that you dread or you hate. It's meant to be something as a tool. Money is a tool. Money is a tool to get you to places, to do things you want to do, to uh, own things you want to own. So to be able to do this, the motivation behind it is that you are not doing this as a punishment. It's something that is bringing you joy and that's paying forward to your future self. So first of all, we need to be mindful of our spending habits. I've done videos on money mindset before. Literally just go onto my channel, there's a budgeting playlist. Um, if you go on the homepage, you scroll down, there's a budgeting playlist and there's loads of information. I just realized I didn't have my son's drums. We got him drums for his birthday and they're right next to me. Check in with your spending habits. Being mindful with money is key to saving money. Look at through your bank account. Look through how many Starbucks did you get? How many ASOS purchases are there? Do you need that subscription that you don't really use? Like there are things that you can be mindful about when you're spending. Don't just tap your phone. Don't just like tap your card. Like think about these things as money, as actually handing over a 10 pound note for a coffee. And for me, that really makes me think twice about, oh, do I actually need that or do I, can I borrow that or can I, have I got that already? So it's just about being mindful with your money. You know, I'm gonna say it guys, I can't make a money a video about how to save money without adding this one in and that is sleep on it, take away the haste, don't just buy things because 
you have seen it on Instagram, and you're like, I must buy that. Like, think about it. How is this gonna bring value to your life? Do you really need it? Can you borrow it? Is there something that you can do to get it cheaper? Even if you are buying something, you gotta get your cash back, guys. I will leave my links below. You gotta use your vouchers. I'll leave the link below to the Chrome extension that I use. There's things that you need to make sure you are using if you are spending money, just to be savvy, just make it make sense. So for me, I have a 30 day rule and it, Recently it slipped a little bit and that is purely because if it's maybe something for holiday which we're going on in two weeks time Then I would have been thinking about it for ages anyway, but it might be that like I need it in two weeks I'm not gonna wait 30 days for it But for me that really helps and that saved me hundreds probably thousands of pounds of wasted money next off Don't make it so hard that you can't be successful <laughs> like when I get messages saying oh I've my no buy year didn't work. It's I'm a terrible person like things like that like no, this is not a punishment Make your own rules. If your thing is to go out with your mum for coffee once a week, that's lovely, You, that's so nice that you get to do that. Don't scrap that or have her at your house or something instead of going out. Think of rules that are gonna fit your own lifestyle. Next one is to set your goal. This is like a big thing. I had it on our fridge when we were saving for our house and we would take it like scrub color it off each time and it was a big family thing the children knew we were doing it we had our goal in our mind and if your goal is to get out of debt that is amazing too i've got debt um budgeting and debt payoff spreadsheets free printable over on my website which is laradranajarvis.com have like go along get one of those stick it on your fridge put it on your screensaver on your phone just have your goal there so that you know when you're slipping and you think oh i might just buy that top that looks nice then you've got a reason to think, no, no, that's one more day away or an extra week away from getting to my goal. Next up, if you've got to tell people, get them to support you. If you are trying to get out of debt or to pay for something that you are saving up for and your friends keep asking you to go for cocktails or dinner, just be open with them. Just say, look, I'm, I'm really sorry I can't at the moment. I'm saving for something. I'm doing a no-spend period. Why don't you pop over to my house instead? I'll cook you dinner or something like that so you're not actually spending too much money. As I say, picture your why. Why are you doing this? That's the takeaway to every time, like I said, the sort of thing just now. If you want to buy something, you think, no, my why is buying that house. Is that gonna put me back an extra month? It's just not worth it. Next one is to recognize your feelings when you have bought something. Do you feel like gutted? Like, why did I do that? Or, you know, once the endorphins have hit by, have gone within 30 seconds, it doesn't really even, you bring it in the house and you're like, mm, yeah, it's like gone, that moment's passed. Just recognizing those feelings of the endorphins being like not lasting is a really powerful way of not spending the money in the first place because you understand that afterwards you don't really care that much for it. Planning, planning, planning. That goes for meal planning. That goes for taking drinks out when you go out for a park day or something like that. Plan, planning to, failing to plan is failing, planning to fail. It's not forever, guys. This is not forever. You will get through this. You will pay off your debt. You will buy your house. You will get there. Don't think of it as a punishment, it's not forever. Look for free alternatives for things, so marketplace or rent something, borrow something. You don't have to buy the thing all the time if there's a different alternative, so just do your research, that really helps. That goes on with planning as well. Take stock of things. If you already own the thing, don't do what I do, like did <laughs> when I first started my no buy year. I used to go out and then I would buy a thing and then I'd come back and I'd already own the thing. Mind blowing, such a waste of money. Budget, budget, budget. I've got videos on budgets here on this channel. I will share them. Um, again, just look for the playlist, budgeting, how to budget, my budgets, things like that. I've just done a holiday budget, how to budget for our luxury holiday, which is the first time we've ever done that. And um, yeah, it's, it's all down to planning again. So literally budget, know what's coming in, exact, exact granular detail as well of like what's in the bank, how much is going out, how much is left over, and pay yourself first. Because you know, as soon as you get the money, once your non-negotiables are done and you pay yourself, that means putting it into savings or investments. If you wait until the end of the month and you say, oh, save what's left, there won't be anything left. So do it at the beginning of the month before you have a chance to spend it. The mentality of this is really interesting and that's all around the mindset again, money mindset. And it is when will it end? Like when will it be good enough? When will it be enough? So it's not just like one more thing. Oh, I'll just buy one more. I'll just buy one more top. When is it ever enough? 
So just keep that in mind as well. And unmask your spending habits. So are you an emotional spender? Are you a bore, boredom spender? Are you stressed? Are you happy? Could be a good emotion. Unearth these feelings and then you can use that to your advantage to know that if you are maybe bored in bed at night, you're scrolling, you're tapping, you're shopping, you can actually counteract these feelings by going to do something instead. Like if you're feeling bored on the sofa, go for a little walk about the neighborhood or go and cook some nice food or something. Or if you're upset, maybe go and take a nice bath, do some self care. You know, it's recognizing the feelings that are causing the spending and that in turn will help you stop the spending. So I hope those tips have been helpful for you guys. There are so many videos here on this channel and I will continue to make money saving videos, even though for some reason they're not getting watched very much at the moment. But I think YouTube has just forgotten about money saving stuff because I did loads of house moving stuff and algorithms are funny things. Like if you stop making videos for a while on a subject, YouTube's like, oh, that's not a thing anymore. Let's, let's not ever post, like share. So lots of people tell me that I don't get um, my videos in their subscription feeds, but if you put the notification bell on, it might well help. But yeah, or just keep looking. I do three videos a week and it's all about living your best life on a budget. So thank you for being here. It's a long one. Hope you enjoyed it. Getting to know me a little bit. If you're new here, I'm Lara. Did I not mention that, by the way? I'm Lara. Financial Influence of the Year. Oh, oh. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye.